don't let things drag you down. This fits in with the goal thing, but the whole point is keep on your goal focus. Um, the reason the goal focus is there is it keeps you heading in that direction. I've seen so many people these days that have just given up. I mean, literally, they've given up on life. You see it a lot on like daytime television, the worst of the worst, um, where you see these people, you just think, I don't know how they get through the day. <laughs> you know, they're, they just exist. You know, they didn't get an education. They didn't work. They didn't do anything. They just exist. And I know from the Philippines, I also know from people in the UK that are unskilled, it often happens because there is nothing driving it. What you have is you're living in a town where there's only a, a calf and a barber, for example, and there's no jobs, there's no opportunities. Now, I've had the phrase said to me so many times, it's easy for you. Guess what? It's not. I don't work any less than anybody else. If anything, I probably do more than most people do, which is why I've got on in life. Um, I've not been afraid to do 120 hours in a week. I've not been afraid to work three jobs a in a week, you know, because um, I worked in a, at this all at the same time. I had a full-time day job. I went to night school and I went and worked in a club, you know, a, a nightclub um, in the UK um, all at the same time. So you imagine you're getting up at seven in the morning and going to work, going from work, have your dinner at home, getting dressed, go to college, getting back from college, getting dressed and going to a nightclub until four in the morning. My day is 7 a.m. till 4, uh, 7 a.m. till 4 a.m. And I did that not for weeks, for months. I did it for years. I paid myself through college. So the fact is, I know it's hard. And these one horse towns, um, it's very difficult there. But what I did is I moved. Um, when I discovered how bad the wages in Worcester were compared to Birmingham, I started working in Birmingham. And people say, it's so far. And I, yeah, but my salary is double yours because I'll travel um, half an hour extra up the motorway. Then when I started working in London, it didn't just go up by double, it went up four times. And people will still go, I can't do that. It's too far. Well, the way I look at it is if I'm earning four times as much in my life, I have the opportunity to retire four times earlier. I've got the opportunity to do more with my life, uh, like the diploma I'm doing at the moment. Um, and I've got the opportunity to travel. The priority is not work. Work is not a priority. Work is a means to an end. You know when people say, oh, you should do something you love. That's done by people that are doing something they love and they've been very lucky to find something that they love. Not all work is that easy to find. I like writing, but um, I'm not sure how many people like reading my stuff. Although I keep coming across people that moved to the Philippines because of the stuff I wrote in 2007 to 2014. So when you have people actually never spoken to actually turn around and say to you, I actually moved because of reading your stuff. That is quite important. You know, for me as a person, it's a, you know, it's, it's been all worthwhile because they actually did what I did because they understood what I was aiming for. Um, in doing because the difference with my blog if you read back through it it's not all nice life isn't great sometimes i'm on a down day sometimes i'm on an up day but what you'll find is the next day i'm on an up i'll get dragged down and then I'm back up you know because you get knocked down you dust yourself off you get back up you do not let people just keep you down that's why i say don't let things drag you down because you get into that rut and you see in the Philippines where 
the guys are drinking from 10 a.m. till midnight every day, they're in a rut. That rut happens because they've been dragged down, be it local issues, family issues, be it problems with finances, be whatever it is. And they've let things get them to the point that they can't move forward. Me, what do I do? Um, when my daughter is diagnosed with autism, did I sit there uh, crying and worrying about it? Um, I hopped on a plane and went out to the Middle East. I worked for four months and came back with a huge bundle of cash. I then did a load of work in the Philippines um, to do with the call center stuff. I then went to Qatar. I then went back to the Philippines and we built the call center. The fact is, it kick-started me because before that I was doing bits and pieces but not at the same level. But the fact is, when you have something like that, my drive is to secure my children's future. I didn't sit there going, oh my god, what am I going to do? It was a case of, right, I need to do something and I need to do it now. I didn't sit there festering. I didn't let it drag me down. And the fact is, my daughter's fine. And the, the, But getting her the right education, getting her um, kick-started to move things forward takes investment, it takes time. Um, and if you imagine, can all other guys are on pretty tight budgets. Just for the schooling was 5,000 pesos a month plus the commute, plus everything else. And although it's not big money, if it's not in your original budget, it soon adds up. But then you're thinking long-term, um, which is partially why we end up in Europe. Because um, a lot of people say, well, why don't I just move? Um, it was on the cards anyway, but the fact was after Typhoon Haiyan, after the uh, earthquakes, plus, the kids are now at schooling age. It was like, okay, let's do it now. Because the call center went on pause um, because we're, we had the issues with um, internet connections and the infrastructure was getting affected because of the typhoons. So it was ideal just to make the move. Um, also, it gave a load, of, a load of money away. But the whole point is, don't let it track you down. Didn't drag us down. Gave us new opportunities. And you just need to get that focus going. There's no point being negative about anything. Um, if you see, you know, like with my daughter, her, her issue is communication more than anything. It's, it's speaking. She's not, uh, she's improving a lot all the time. But her memory, her ability to speak multi, she's multilingual and stuff like that. You'll be surprised. Um, I remember she, she got this bit of paper in her ear recently. Um, we took her to the doctor and she's shouting, Socorro, Socorro, which, which is like, help, help. Um, because she speaks Spanish, but she also speaks English, Cebuano, uh, Tagalog. Um, she also learns Portuguese and other languages, so this is, <laughs> this is a thing because she is way smarter than people, uh, she lets, lets people realize, but if you watch her when nobody's looking, she's up to stuff all the time. <laughs> but the point is, kids uh, for me are my priority, my wife getting to Europe and enjoying Europe is a major thing for me, um, so I've made it happen. That was my goal for this year. My goal for the end of the year is having that apartment I'm chasing. Um, and then next year, uh, is starting to hammer my retirement fund so I can be in, the, uh, in Spain full time. Will it happen? It's not will it happen, it's when will it happen. Um, and that's what I'm saying. Don't let things drag you down. Don't let people run you down. If you're surrounded by negative people, just ditch them. Just tell them, look, keep that crap to yourself. I'm not interested. I'm, I'm quite forceful, even with, um, even in business. If people are 
trying to sell me nonsense, I tell them straight away. I have no problems with telling people you're just talking rubbish or that's not correct. This is, you know, because I don't have the patience. I really don't. I don't have the patience for people that are incompetent. I don't have the patience for uh, people chancing their luck. I'm for success. I'm for driving things forward. I'm for working with people that are conscious, that they have a conscience that we only have so much time on this planet. So to get the most out of it, you need to put the work into it. All right, thanks for watching.